Hello friends, uh, so this is Chankash Faryani and in today's tutorial we'll uh, see that what is uh, what is Azure function, how we can create that Azure function and uh, we'll see actually what is the practical use of use of this. So let me just open the uh, session overview for today's tutorial. So what we're going to cover today is that first of all, uh, we will uh, understand what is our actual requirement, you know, what we want to achieve and why we are uh, actually here in creation of Azure function. And then uh, we'll uh, directly jump into the uh, practical implementation in what first we'll create our uh, uh, cosmos tv and then uh, we'll create our http trigger function uh, and then we'll execute that function using the postman and at last we'll work on our actual requirement in what we'll be updating our our cosmos collection based on some sort of parameters which will be passed in azure function so let me just quickly explain our requirement before i jump into the implementation so here you can see uh, we have uh, some sort of collection which is uh, employee collection maybe and it has two properties as of now one is name city and even the third person which is that person does not have the city associated support so what we want to achieve i uh, want uh, or i should have some sort of mechanism with which i can update all the uh, rows uh, and the city property for actually every row and uh, also even for the z person which is a third one does not have the property of city still i i want some sort of mechanism why i can update the city for every record also if i want that uh, i want to update for a specific record in uh, i can i can uh, i should be able to do this as well via providing some sort of parameters that based on some id or anything so this is my requirement this is what i want to achieve and to achieve this yeah so to achieve this, we'll create our Azure function and we'll call that using the postman. This is some sort of, uh, you can expect a URL and after you execute that function, then you can say then city should be updated for every, every record. So yeah, that's all. Now just uh, jump into the practical implementation for this. Just open the portal yeah. so this is my azure portal account uh, you should be having the portal uh, azure portal and also the subscription to start work on this and so first we'll create the azure cosmos tv and before that if you do not have the resource group click on this uh let me just zoom it a bit click on this resource group and create your resource group i already have created and then click on this azure cosmos tv and then after you uh just create a db just a second okay uh so these are the two uh Cosmos TV already have and I was just deleting those. So let me uh, just click on this add button to create a fresh one. So I just clicked on this add button. Okay, so here's a subscription. You have to select and then resource group. Maybe you can select as it is. Yeah, you can pick it from here as you are learning. Maybe you can name it anything. Uh, let's say uh, Cosmos. DB container and maybe I can test and this is the core SQL I'll be using and and then uh, click on this review and create click on this yeah validation success now click on this create now it will take a couple of minutes to create the Azure Cosmos DB and then uh, I'll, I'll pause the video and I'll resume just uh, once the creation is completed okay uh, so the deployment is uh, complete and it uh, took around 4 minutes 20 seconds so let me just go to this azure cosmos tv uh, we have this cosmos tv container test is now ready to be used click on this data explorer so again uh, do not uh, focus on much on actually creation of uh, cosmos tv and all those stuff i'll be doing uh, very quick so that we can focus on our azure function stuff so let's say uh, you have to give the database id first of all so let's say cosmos db test and then the container ID, uh, you have employee, uh, maybe EMP uh, action. And then uh, you have to provide a partition key, make it anything. So click on OK. Now you should have the container. That means uh, in SQL, it is a table. So you should have one table. Yeah, we have EMP collection named as a table and Cosmos TV is a database name. Now click on this item. Let me now uh, create some items. Mm, how do I do this? Okay. Just a second. You can just name it uh, the ID here. It is a little difficult to manage here. Just a second. Yeah, this should be fine now. Now just give it a name. Maybe X. 
and then the city property which is empty so this is one uh, row click on the same click on new item paste it y and id should be two so that it can be uniquely identified and then uh, click on new item and it another one which is a third one so this is the same data which i have just presented in the pp and just remove this one click on this save okay now you have uh, three records uh, one is the x then y and then z so what i want i will be creating a job function which would actually update the records uh, the city property for every record and for a specific record based on the parameter okay. press control zero and to create the job function just go to your uh, create a resource click on uh, search for function tab. and you have function app click here click on create now name it a uh, function app test it's not available one it is it should be available it is and yes let all be as it is basically it is just uh, asking for resource group and then subscription then your cosmos uh, db uh, not cosmos db right now the location and hosting plan all those stuff so just click on create now it is validating now again the deployment in progress and everything which you create on cosmos db in, in azure portal it takes time so it will take again four or five minutes and i meanwhile i'll just pause and we'll resume once it is done okay so it says your de uh, deployment is complete and now uh, just go to the all services search uh, search for your uh, function app click on the function app now you should uh, be able to see the function app test one which we just created click on the app inside this uh, this is your functions where you will see all your functions click on this plus button you will see a couple of options so the first option uh, where do you want to code in the visual studio vs code or any editor or in portal so i'll be using the end portal click on continue so again uh, there are type of functions which is webhook or timer or more templates so there are types of uh, functions uh, available like based on uh, some types that how you want to execute your function so first thing is based on time right say uh, on on a specific schedule time you want to execute a function or the second one is that uh, whenever anything uh, gets updated or deleted in cosmos db then you want to execute a function this is your second type third uh, which is we are using which is a http trigger so whenever we'll be uh, uh, using or uh, execute that url which will the uh, which that function gonna provide us and then we'll uh, execute we want to execute the or update the data so there are types of uh, multiple types of functions available so just click on this strip trigger and you can name it update my cosmos collection this is just a name you can give it anything so click on create hopefully it should not take some much time we already go on the time to cosmos and function app it is taking at least some time okay so you can see uh, we have uh, some code already here so what it is uh, it is it is just logging the information then it is fetching the name from uh, from the request and then uh, if, the, if the name is not pre pre uh, present in the request it is, it is it is trying to fetch from the body and if it is still null then uh, it gives some sort of error else it will print the name so first uh, let me click on this run button to see whether it is uh, all working fine okay here is a log and here's a console and on the right side it says hello azure which is hello azure so uh, this is uh, done with the uh, manually clicking on the uh, run button now let's see whether it is working from the postman or not click on get function url so this is the url page you will be using go to your postman click on uh, paste here now click send now you'll uh, notice here's a message please uh, pass a name on the query string or in the request body as mentioned in both uh, in the function so let's go to the bo body and click go test json okay, okay let's provide a, a name okay 
click on the send button we have this hello cp here so this is uh, how we have actually uh, created a specific or you can some basic azure Azure function and with the url we are able to execute the function now the thing is uh, now uh, on the second step we have to actually integrate our cosmos db which we have just created so uh, I have to move to the another video in the part second I'll be uh, doing this in what uh, I'll wind the uh, input parameters and the output parameters in what, in, in what we'll actually um, uh, provide the connection string of our Cosmos TV and then again we'll uh, try to trigger this with the uh, Postman URL and see uh, whether our uh, records are updating or not. We'll continue in uh, part second. Thank you for watching this video.